Hey, how's it going? Everything Baseball here, bringing you another video. Uh, today I have a top 5 video. A while back I did a top 10 video over the best pitchers of 2015, uh, and it's been doing really well, so I appreciate the support on that. Uh, but today I'm back to do a top 5 video. So all these things you are about to see are in no specific order whatsoever. So yeah, without further ado, we have today the top 5 worst trades in baseball history. So let's get right into this. Tigers trade John Smoltz to the Braves for Doyle Alexander back in 1987. Wow, this is a terrible trade. <laughs> John Smoltz, of course, was entering his prime in 1987. Uh, he pitched very well with the Braves for the next decade. Meanwhile, Doyle Alexander was 36 years old at the time of the trade. And again, you are you have to realize, you know, you're giving away a young, potentially amazing player for a veteran. So John Smoltz, after the trade, went on to be an eight-time All-Star. Uh, he led the National League in strikeouts in 1992 with 215. He also holds the Braves' record for most saves. Uh, he was actually closer for a while and just an all-around great pitcher. Um, he could really do it all under any situation. So this is definitely among the worst trades. Pittsburgh Pirates trade Aramis Ramirez and Kenny Lofton to the Cubs for Bobby Hill and Jose Hernandez. Uh, wow, this trade. Uh, so the trade was made on July 23rd, 2003. Ramirez and Lofton are two just amazing players. Uh, even though Lofton in 2003 wasn't really considered in his prime anymore, uh, Aramis Ramirez was just getting started and he actually spent the next eight seasons with the Cubs uh, where he did very well. When Lofton actually made it to the Cubs, uh, they were desperately needing a center fielder, like they really needed one. So uh, Lofton was the perfect center fielder for them. In 56 regular season game appearances with the Cubs, Lofton stole 12 and hit 327 uh, and the Cubs went on to win their division going 88 and 74. So you see just the impact of these two players, and wow, just what a lopsided trade. Reds trade Christy Mathewson to the Giants for Amos Rusi. Okay, so this didn't seem like a very bad trade at the time, but uh, it definitely is today. So Mathewson was pretty, pretty young when this trade happened, and Amos Rusi was um, a veteran. Uh, they thought they were going to get an ace with him uh, because he was very dominant in the 1890s and he was one of the fastest pitchers in the league at the time. But he didn't pitch in the major leagues in 1899 or 1900. Once he got there, he just fell apart altogether. Uh, he ended up leaving the team later that summer. Um, and Mathewson went on to the New York Giants where he played there for 17 seasons. Mathewson was one of the first two pitchers inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. He just had an incredible career that lasted so long because of his amazing stamina. Um, he threw 434 complete games and 79 shutouts in his career. He also led the Giants to four separate World Series. So in the end, the Giants got just a legendary Hall of Fame pitcher. Um, and the Reds got Amos Rusi, who uh, may have been good in his time, but by the time of the trade, he was at the end of his career. Dodgers trade Pedro Martinez to the Expos for Delino De Shields in 1993. Okay, this trade is just absolutely brutal. Um, Pedro Martinez, obviously, he was an eight-time All-Star, three-time Cy Young Award winner, and 2004 World Series champion, as he's a legend. He just recently made it into the Hall of Fame, and this was very early on in Pedro's career. Uh, he actually started with the Dodgers. It was just a risky move altogether for the Dodgers, and it really didn't go in their favor. So when Martinez actually debuted with the Dodgers, uh, he wasn't doing it as well as they had hoped him to, which probably led to the trade. But either way, looking at the outcome, you know, about 20 years later, um, this was just an awful trade for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm sure everybody knows this story, and it's highly regarded as one of the worst trades, uh, and it didn't even involve two players. Uh, so back in 1920, the Red Sox traded Babe Ruth to the Yankees for $100,000, uh, which is just ridiculous if you look at it today. But even then, you're trading away one of the best baseball players of all time. Babe Ruth was arguably the best player that ever lived, and all the Red Sox really got out of it was some cash. 
So Babe Ruth was primarily a pitcher with the Red Sox, and he was a fantastic pitcher even, uh, even though he's mostly regarded for his hitting, but he was an outstanding pitcher as well. Um, just some career numbers, uh, 714 home runs. Uh, he had 2,213 runs batted in. Uh, the home run total in particular just stands out. That home run total was the most in the MLB for a long time. So I want to know, what do you guys think was the worst trade in baseball history? Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I think I will do some other videos with this because I really enjoy doing like top 10 and top 5 videos. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows, might be highlights, might be a best trades in baseball history. Uh, who knows. Alright, thank you guys for watching and peace out.